I'm gonna go through this chair with Sean here and just go over kind of the importance of each feature that you'll find in a higher end ergonomic office chair. Uh, like he was saying, your next position is always the most ergonomic position. Yeah. So you wanna continue to move around and that's how these chairs are built to be moving around, tilting back, you know, sitting upright, uh, you know, change the arm height and whatnot throughout the day. But each of these functions has a purpose on the chair and it's important that you set the chair up properly when you are using it uh, and continue to adjust it throughout the day. So the number one function right here, which is your pneumatic height adjustment right there. So there's a gas cylinder in almost all the chairs that we sell that just brings it up automatically. Uh, so what, what's the importance of sitting at the right height with flat feet? Uh, do you recommend sitting flat footed or uh, yeah, what are absolutely. your thoughts on that? Uh, I don't actually like feet dangling much at all. Uh, a lot of times I see people, typically our older patients, but still patients, um, they get a lot of swelling in their feet. Good way to, to negate that, not stop it, not cure it, but a good way to lower it is just keep your feet on the ground, don't let them dangle okay. in a dependent position. Awesome. So. And uh, what would you say the best you know angle is for the knee? Do we want a slight downward angle on the knee, or I'm sorry, the thigh, or do you want to be you know 90 degrees? Uh, I take it it's probably not good to have your knees going upward right, like that. Right, you're totally you right. Um, a good full contact will, will reduce your you know, overall pressure. Your okay. PSI. Um, awesome. But again, your hyper adjustability. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and will that promote blood flow as well to the legs? You know, we hear a lot of customers saying that you know, their uh, legs are falling asleep throughout the day. Mm. Does that right adjustment, you know, having it at the right height with the right angle Absolutely. really help with that? Yeah. Um, Maybe not so much the blood flow, but more decreasing compression on nerves. Okay. Uh, next function that a lot of these chairs will have is a seat depth slide right here. So, you know, again, going back to that, my legs are falling asleep thing. Yep, we yep. have a lot of customers that come in, uh, especially taller people who always complain about the chair not giving them proper support, yep, you know? Absolutely. You see a lot of their, you know, their legs are really hanging way over the actual yep. seat pan. Yeah, and if you chair. stay there, what we actually like to see is about two inches. Okay, so two maybe bring there. the seat out a little bit more yep. right there. Yep. Awesome. Next thing that a lot of these chairs are going to have is the multi-adjustable arm. So you got your height adjustment on the arm as well. A nice chair will have the angle adjustment and the depth adjustment as well. So you yeah, call that's that a 3D arm. That is good. Um, just looking at how you're, you are in this position, what this one would relate to specifically is, is carpal tunnel. Okay. Carpal tunnel is related to your median nerve. So a lot of people think, you know, in the wrist, that's what's causing my carpal tunnel. A lot of cases it's actually stemming from your neck okay. and if you lower your shoulder if you let your shoulder drop like that what that's doing is it's putting tension on your your whole nervous system okay. just through here so if you get that at the right height you lift your shoulder up it's mm -hmm. supported it's also taking pressure off that median nerve that nerve yep. that runs through here you feel a lot more relaxed just moving it up that extra mm -hmm. setting or two Absolutely. okay awesome and then you know is it beneficial to be able to turn them in you know the, the actual arm pads inward like that mm -hmm. you know versus someone being you know positioned like that on an arm pad that wouldn't tilt in absolutely for the same reason support okay. you know biggest thing that we have people coming in looking for with these chairs is going to be this guy right here the lumbar support on a chair how important is that you know for a person who's sitting eight plus hours a day at their office they have that proper ergonomic uh, adjustment of the lumbar support in there yeah it's huge because uh you had it going at different levels so you're always going to be pushing back differently mm -hmm different levels of lumbar support. And that leads me to the next one. You showed that tension support. Yep. Um, if you're constantly fighting against the tension of this of this thing, it's gonna cause some back pain too, but why don't you show us the tension? Definitely. Device? Yeah, so over here we have your tension control. So based on your weight, you can change that setting. So you can make it really tough to tilt back. You can make it really easy to tilt back. What we like to do is change that so you almost get in a free flow position. That way you're not fighting the back of the chair all day long while you're working. You know, mm -hmm. we find that if that's not set right, people feel like they're always constantly fighting that back and oh, yeah. they have a lot of tensity in their muscles and, uh, you know, maybe some back muscle fatigue. Yeah. Either that or it's too loose and you're laying, you're laying down. Yep, right? exactly. So, you know, if you're leaning too far away from the computer, then a lot of people start to yeah. hunch forward and don't actually use yeah. the chair. So, yeah. no, this one's awesome. Great. Uh, and then, you know, in addition to that, a lot of these higher end chairs that have that lumbar support right there will have a height adjustment on the back as well. Okay. You know, everyone emphasizes lumbar support nowadays. Does that really help you out if it's not at the proper height on each individual's back? No. Um, your, your spine is very specific. Different levels move differently. They have different curvature. So you want that at the right level. Okay. 
And then, uh, you know, kind of the next main feature on this guy is going to be your adjustable neck and headrest right here. So uh, this kind of goes back into, you know, your next position is the most ergonomic position. Uh, a lot of times, you know, you're on the phone, you're closing a big deal, and you like to <laughs> sit back and relax a little bit while you're on that phone. So uh, can that be helpful, you know, having that proper support versus, oh, yeah. you know, hyperextending your neck without that? 100%. Otherwise, I mean, if you lean back and you don't have this cervical support, you're just letting your head flop, or, or I mean, you're just over-utilizing these, these muscles right in the front of your neck. Okay. Yeah, so really just to summarize it, it's the hyper adjustability of this thing that I love. I mean, you just got to keep it moving and, and you can move this thing in just about any way you need. Awesome. If I were you or you were me, would you rather sit in this chair if you had it at your access? <laughs> or would you rather hang out in this guy like most people are doing at their dining room tables all day long? I would not like to sit in this one. Right. It might promote me to, to get up and, and exercise a little bit more, but <laughs> other okay. than that, I would not want to sit in this. Not very ergonomic, eh? Nope. Not All very. right. Well, these guys are great. You know, She's maybe beautiful. If, you, if you are a fan of <laughs> antiques, but we'll go with that new technology I love nowadays. Love the aesthetic. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> This is going to be a higher end office chair right here. This is the X Chair X1. Typical price points are, you know, typically on X chairs, you're going to be looking at $700 to maybe $1,300, depending on the model, the features, the functions. Uh, so, great chair. Maybe not everyone has that in their budget to spend. Uh, but here at Office Furniture Warehouse, we do our best to provide, you know, something in each category, no matter who you are. So if you're on a lower budget, this is actually our number one selling chair here, the Smarty Mesh Back Test Chair. Uh, this guy's got a lot of adjustments as well. So, you know, we cover all those main points. You got your height adjustment here on this lever. You have that seat up slide again. Perfect. You got your adjustable arm that goes up and down. You can go forward and back with that or in and out to really fit every user. Yeah. And you got that adjustable backrest or the lumbar support on the back here again, right there. So Great. while it might not be as high tech as that, mm -hmm. you know, still still worth it would you say yeah it's still great i sat in all these chairs for the first time a few minutes ago and what immediately stood out to me on this one was the soft the, the cushion here it's very you'd have no pressure points it's all very smooth it's very soft um, and that's exactly what you need especially if you pair this with something like your standing desk you can sit you're not going to sit eight hours you, you pop this up and, and then you go to your standing position so this is great work between you know? okay Awesome. So, uh, you know, if let's say you want to get a full setup, you know, it might make a little bit more sense to go with a little bit less expensive chair than if you do plan on incorporating sit stand desk. So, yeah. you know, something like this runs 247. We got sit stand desks that typically start at about 447. So, you know, for less than, you know, this beautiful guy here. Yeah. Uh, you can actually get, you know, a sit stand desk and a chair that's going to provide you all the ergonomic adjustments that you need. You know, that might be a, a better route to go if you need the full setup as well. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. I mean, okay. of course you'd, you'd want this one uh, to pair with that, but you got to think of the bottom line as well, right? And Definitely. this one is an excellent, excellent chair. And then how'd you, how'd you bump this thing up? Did you just yep. hit that four and then she pops up? Yeah. So you can actually just save your presets on these guys. That way, if you need a quick bathroom break or yeah. you need to stretch your legs a little bit before you get in your standing, you can just hit that button and save it every time. That way you have the proper setup there. Yeah. As far as it goes with sit stand desks, uh, would you say that there's a proper height adjustment for them or a proper height that you want to sit in? Or, I'm sorry, stand in? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Uh, a lot of that goes back to what we were talking about with the, the shoulder. So you need to support that shoulder. I mean, even just doing this, I can feel you know, that shooting. So a lot of people think of their funny bone. Uh, that just shows putting this in the, in the right position is, is huge. Um, so yeah, there is a, a, a good position to have it in. I mean, you want your elbow bone right here. You don't, of course, want it up here. A, a lot of just extra stress on different joints. So whatever is the most comfortable is usually actually the best. So I'm not going to put a number on it because everyone's going to be different. Um, but that's great. I mean, you experiment with different, different levels and uh, it seems very... You can do very fine adjustments, mm -hmm. right? Definitely, yeah. So this guy, you know, makes adjustments down the millimeter. So you just got your up and down button, and then right you up. can save your presets as well to make it easier. That way you're not looking for that sweet spot every time. Or like we keep saying, you know, 
maybe it is important to change it up yeah. a little bit throughout the day versus you know getting stiff if you're just locked in at the same spot it's going right. to change it up right. just a little bit uh, you know the biggest thing that we find is people will complain about a lot of pain in the wrists and arms okay. if they have it too high like you were saying so you know if you're going up with your wrist like that yeah, you don't like that yep or you know if it's too far down and now you're down here all day mm -hmm. you know again right the hyper adjustability yeah.